Welcome to EnviroTube. We rescued a wild hive and we thought, well, while we're rescuing it, why not do an induction and show you how simple it is, even though it's an unusual technique. Okay, here it is. It's a bit rough and ready, but this is how inductions work. Warren later on tonight, when all the bees are back home, is going to fix it and make it really, really nice. But you can see, we have a wild hive here. This one happens to be a log. It could have been uh, a trunk of a tree. It doesn't matter. We have a connecting pipe. The connecting pipe is what you need. You need to connect the entrance of the wild hive and force the bees into this hive. Then we want the bees to fly out through this hole. So in fact, this becomes their new exit. So what will happen is, as the bees fly through this space, when they enter, enter the hive, so they'll start dropping food off here. It's like an instinctive reaction. There'll be a virgin queen that flies out, does a mating flight, and is aware of this space. Big space. No queen, there's food. Bang! Like whatever goes on in those little uh, virgin queen minds, it's like uh, ecstasy on a stick. They're basically going to start a new hive here. This is like hive heaven. That's when you're looking through here. So we're looking through here all the time. Uh -huh. Ah, we've got eggs, right. Once we have eggs, remember we drilled a hole in the little pipe. That's when you release the tape so that the bees from the original hive don't have to fly this anymore. Some will, a lot of them won't. This is critical. If you don't do this, the old queen will kill the new queen. So, eduction, it's a slightly tricky technique, it's a very slow technique, but it doesn't kill any bees, and it will, over time, give you another hive. Okay, look, there's quite a lot of bee activity, but there's nothing going through the entrances. Oh, there's a bee coming out of the entrance. Oh, -ho, what's happening here, he says. Wow. Got to give it to them, they're working it out. Oh, there's another one. So if this is going to work, we're going to have the whole hive flying in and out of that spot. I reckon I'd be tempted just to leave it like this. Oh, one just went in. Oh, there he is. Yep. He's milling around. So that's our first one. How good is that? They might have little brains, but they can work it out. I think the fact that you're starting to see bees uh, come in and out of the hole shows that uh, they've already, on day one, started to suss it out. And that's a, quite a comforting uh, thought. And this is so much a better hive than uh, their log. Their log is very small. Their log is borderline. Seeing the bees flying out is exciting. Seeing them flying in is even more exciting because seeing them flying in means they know this is the way back to the queen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that EnviroTube. Working with insects, native bees, it's very special. And when something works, you really get excited. The fact that we have bees flying in and out of this empty hive, this is gonna be a goer. I reckon within six months, 12 months, we're gonna have two hives. And this hive, we can put a honey collector on it. Warren's going to have a fantastic native hive created without any angst.